fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Whenever men gathered around the campfire in the early days of the western United States, stories were told of the masked rider of the plains. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were always on the side of right against might. It was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to the new country, and the West remembers him as the greatest champion of justice the frontier ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the range country! Hail, Silver! Hoy! It was past midnight before young Lon Stevens broke away from his companions in the cafe, leaped to the saddle of his fleet bay mare, and raced out of town. The ranch he shared with his brother was not his destination, however. Instead, he brought his mount to a clattering halt in front of the Taylor place and announced his arrival with a volley of shots. <laughs> I didn't scare you, did I? <laughs> I thought I'd drop by and say goodnight. How you doing? Lon, huh? father's asleep. I don't know if you woke him up or not, but if you don't stop <laughs> this nonsense, he'll be out here and he'll na- nail your hide to the wall. He's had just about enough out of you. Well, a fella can call on his girl, can he? What's wrong in that? Several things. Oh, now look, In Marge. the first place, I'm not your girl. I would never marry you if you were the last man on earth. And in the second hey, place... Hey, 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 the Dickens with the second place. What I'm interested in is that first one. What do you mean you ain't my girl, huh? Ain't we engaged? We were. Well, but Lynn... we're certainly not anymore. Hey, whoa up there. You're running too far ahead of your shadow. Hey, steady, boy, steady. Since when did this all come about? Since you proved to all of us that you're not a man but a fool. Huh? You've been in town again. You've been drinking, haven't you? Sure. <laughs> ain't a fella to have some fun? Seems that some people can, but when they do, others can't. Hey, what was that crack for? I think you understand me. Well, if you mean Gil... Of course I mean Gil. Where do you think all this money comes from that you like to throw away in town? Do you think there'd be any to spend if your brother didn't do the work you're supposed to do? <laughs> oh, he likes to work. He's not afraid of it, certainly. But even if he wanted to get away once in a while, you wouldn't give him the chance. Oh, doggone it all, Marge. That ain't so. No? How much work did you do today? Uh, well, I... Uh... None. I thought so. How about the rest of this week? <laughs> oh, I got you there. Took a whole herd over the railroad pens at Crazy Creek just last Monday. Yeah. <laughs> and when you'd finished, you started drinking again with some of the boys. You spent every penny of your own, every dollar you'd got for the cattle, and didn't get back to the ranch until three days later. 
When you did, you were so sick, it was still another day before you were any use around the place. Mm, well, uh, well, I can explain that, Mar. Oh, boy. Uh, you see, it was this way. Oh, I... I don't doubt that you can explain it. You're very good at that. Marge, I... I guess you don't think much of me anymore, do you? Don, I think that if you gave yourself a chance, you could be the finest man I know. But you haven't, and I decided that you never will. Oh, I think the best thing that could happen to both of us would be never to see each other again. Well, well, I ain't blaming you much. What is it, Lon? What makes you do these things? Oh, I don't know. Are you sure you don't? I... Oh, what's the use? Uh, you were going to say something. What was it? Well, if I told you, I don't reckon you'd savvy. You'd figure it was just, just another one of my excuses. Oh, why not try me and see? No, it... It's Gil. Gil? No, oh, I don't know how to say it, but it, it just the way he acts. Everything he does just seems to rub me the wrong way. Orders me here, orders me there, tells me I have to do this and I have to do that. Doggone it all, Marge. Sometimes he gets me so all fired mad I just see red. And then go out and make a fool of yourself. Well, maybe I do. Are you trying to tell me your brother doesn't like you? Oh, it isn't that. Well, then what is it? Well, I've told you. It's because he wants to work all the time. He figures everybody else ought to. He just can't savvy anybody wanting any fun. And he's older than me. Ever since I was a button, I can remember him setting himself over me like he was my boss. I just don't take them things. But Gil doesn't mean it that way, Lon. I'm sure he doesn't. Which, Sam, don't stop him acting that way. You know what I think? Hmm? I think that all this could be straightened out. I think that if you and Gil were to have a good heart-to-heart -heart talk, he'd understand. Lon... You and Gil can be friends, the best of friends. I know you can. I sure like it. Then do it, Lon. Do it tonight. Do it now. Go on home and tell Gil you're sorry for the way you've been acting, and then tell him what's wrong. He'll understand, and, and he'll laugh at you. And you'll both be so glad you had it out, you'll end up better friends than if you'd never quarreled. And, and if I do, can I... Well, can I... What, Lon? <laughs> oh, drop back and see you again in a day or two. Lon. Yeah? I'll be here anytime. Kid, you struck a bargain. Adios, I'm on my way. What? Woo! <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Get up there, Howard. Come on, Howard. Get up there. Get up there. Stand there, fella. I'll take care of you. But first, I got to see Gil. Well, he's still up. Hi. So there you are. Finally decided to come home, huh? Look, Gil. Shut up. But... You drunken idiot. Flat bust again, huh? You smell like somebody threw you in a whiskey barrel. Gil, I've been drinking all right, but I ain't drunk. I came home to you ask... Ask for more cash? Well, you won't get it. Well, that ain't what I wanted. I... Lon... You and me are just about through. Huh? I've had time to do a lot of figuring waiting for you to come home tonight. What do you mean, figuring? Figuring how we stand. The folks left us this place equal. Half yours and half mine. Well, thanks to you, it ain't worth near as much today as it was then. But I ain't gonna kick about that. I'll take my loss and forget it. The point is, we're gonna sell out. We're gonna sell out, split what we get 50-50, and each strike out for itself. From then on, this tearing around of yours ain't going to hurt nobody but yourself. That's fair enough, Gil, if you want it that way. I think it is. But uh, I wish you'd let me say what I started out to say. I was talking to Marge tonight, and you she... stopped at her place in the condition you're in? Well, just for a minute. And that ties it. But listen... You're a low-down, rattle-brained fool that ain't fit to be nothing but a saddle bum. Ain't you caused me enough trouble without bothering her besides? I'll take you over my knee and give you the licking you should have had years ago. Don't I'll... you talk to me that you way. You're listening to me. Gil, I come home tonight to make up. <laughs> yeah, me. I was loco enough to think I could talk out straight to you. Yeah, you, an hombre that's so honorary stubborn you never admitted you was wrong in anything in your whole life. Shut up. Try and make me. You're through with me, huh? Well, I hope I never see your ugly map again as long as I live. And get out of here. Go back to town and join up with the skunks who think of your real friends. Go back to hook fast. Hook's and all a better man than you are. You little tramp. Why, you... Oh! <laughs> Uh, Hit me, will you? I'll smash you for that. Get back. I'll gun whip you. Still, watch out. Watch out! 
Let go of my arm. Don't kill you crazy. Let go. You don't know what you're doing. Drop that gun. Stop it. Stop it. Be better off in Boot Hill. Stop Take that. it up. What the hell? No. Get away. Let me go. Let me out. Stand still. I'll take that uh, gun. Stranger, why'd you have to butt in? I was watering my horse at your trough. If I hadn't heard this fight, there might have been a killing here. Oh, in thunder are you? That doesn't matter. He's a crook. You can see that mask, can't you? A crook? <laughs> then he ought to make a good part for you. I'm pulling stakes. And if I don't never see you again, that'd still be too soon. Oh, Lon, wait. Come back here, Lon. Hey, kid, I'm sorry. Lon! Get up, get up there, Lon. Come on, get up. Gone. Gil. Huh? Oh, it's you. Gil, it looks to me as if you're in trouble. I think you'd better tell me about it. tell you. Here was this pilgrim with his wallet stuffed full of cash, see, and just aching to get into a little game. So I, <laughs> I figured I'd oblige. Yeah? <laughs> Inside of two hours, I had him cleaned. I worked with the barkeep, see. He could see into the pilgrim's hand and then signal me what he had. Then I'd bet a cordon. <laughs> but that weren't the funniest part. No? You should have seen that pilgrim when we was finished, begging me almost to lend him some of the cash back. Claimed it wasn't all his, so he'd be jailed. <laughs> Almost acted like he was out of his head. What'd you do? Do? <laughs> well, I told him it'd be a lesson for him to get the cash from somebody else. What do you think I'd do? And was he jailed? No, no, no. The law couldn't touch him. No? He'd shot himself. <laughs> And then... Hey, hey, wait, Hook. Huh? Here comes young Stevens back. Oh, yeah? Well, howdy, Lon. <laughs> well, I thought you'd headed back home. Hook. Huh? When I was here before, you said you might have a job for me that'd give me some cash. Yeah? That offer still good? Why, sure, kid, sure. But what's happened? What's the matter? None of your business. Why, I... Just tell me what you want done, and I'll do it. Gil, I've heard your side of it. I don't doubt that what you've had plenty of provocation. But... Uh, but what? Mind if I speak frankly? Sure not. Go right ahead. While you were telling me about Lon, you didn't realize it, but you were also telling me about yourself. I don't savvy. You've been handling the boy the wrong way. Should have licked him early and often, huh? No. But I You're don't... serious. You're stubborn. And you're inclined to be a bully. Hey, now, just you a minute. You said I could speak. Well... Uh, go on. Lon's high-spirited and spoiled. He needs the discipline of work. <laughs> he sure does. But his pride demands that he be treated as an equal. You haven't treated him that way. Well, I've done... Oh, you can deny it, Gil. But everything you've told me bears it out. You haven't asked him to do things. You've commanded him. Well... And as a result, in each case, he must have felt that to obey would be to admit that you were his superior. Honest, stranger... You think there's something to that? I'm sure there is. No, it sounds like there might be. I'm going to ride to town and get Lon back. Don't. What you just said right now... Right now, I'm afraid he's so angry with you, you've lost all influence with him. How about leaving this to me? To you? I've shown you who I am. You should be able to trust me. I do, stranger, but... But what? Oh, nothing, I guess. Guess it just seems so funny for a fellow I've never seen before to offer to do me a favor... I was getting ready to object before I thought it out. Then you will? Sure. Good night, then, Gil. And don't worry. Stranger, with you on the job, I won't. Yep. <laughs> Come on, Silver. I am Silver. Away! <laughs> the curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Lon stayed with Hook Bascom that night, and as the two of them ate breakfast the following morning, Hook explained the job he had in mind. Well, another cup of coffee, kid? No, no, I ain't finished this one yet. Well, what you were saying, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I was telling the old man Taylor and me, uh, well, we don't get along so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Pass the bacon over, will you? Mm. Yeah. All right. Anyhow, I've been wanting to make a deal with him for quite a spell. But he... he won't even listen. Deal? Yeah. We've got a piece of property I'd like to have. Oh. And the worst part of it is I happen to know... Well, I happen to know he'd just as soon sell it. He can use the cash. And that piece I want ain't hardly any use to him at all. But he's such a downright stubborn cuss, I... I can't do anything with him. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Him and me were good acquainted... I've been keeping company with Mars. That's his daughter. Yeah, sure. That's why I can use you. Yeah? You can buy that piece. Me? Now, I wouldn't chunk it. What I do with it? Where you... is it, anyhow? Oh, you know the range, I mean. It's that strip that runs from the Grove of Cedars through the valley. Or would it just this side of the trail of the railroad? Ah, oh, it ain't big. But I just happen to need it. Well, what for? Well, it's, it isn't exactly what I need, but... Well, that's a good place to summer graze that two-bit herd I bought from Slocum. The valley will keep him from drifting, and then it'll save me the cost of an extra hand. I could use that range fine. <laughs> Why ask me to dick it with Taylor? Why not somebody else? Well, first place I trust you. Hmm? You see, you won't buy it from Taylor and then turn around and try to hold me up. Oh. And you're better acquainted with Taylor than any of my other friends. In fact, from what I've heard, he kind of likes you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thinks I'm the nearest thing to nothing ever wore out good saddle leather. Yeah. He still likes you, though, don't he? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> then you're the hombre to turn the trick, Lon. What do you say? And you'll pay me for just doing that? Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it don't come under the head in the work, but you're on. Oh, there. Oh. Tonto. Uh -huh. I found Lon. That good. He stayed overnight with Hook Bascom. I've been wondering just why Hook had been taking so much trouble to cultivate the boy. I did a little investigating. Mm, what you hear? Hook wants to buy a piece of land over south. Uh -huh. And if I'm not mistaken, I have a very good notion why. Hey, Marge, don't close the door on me. Wait. Don, take your foot out of the door right now. But, Marge, listen. I don't want to listen. But I want to... You made me a promise the other night. You told me you'd behave yourself, make friends with your brother. But you forgot your promise the minute you left. No, I didn't, Marge. Honest. Will I... you take your foot out of the way? I won't. You can go ahead and... Very well, then. Oh! Oh, oh my foot. Hey, you kicked my... Hey, come back down here. Marge. Marge, open the door. Why have you trouble here, fellas? Oh, howdy, Mr. Taylor. I... I was just trying to... Sure, I know. You was just trying to bust my door down. <laughs> Young fella, ain't you lived long enough yet to learn the shortest way to make a woman stubborn is to try and argue her out of it? Yeah. Mr. Taylor, you're sure right on that. <laughs> From the looks of things, reckon Slim made a mistake. He said you want to see me. Guess you uh, met Marge, though, huh? Oh, no. No, I, I do want to see you. Yeah? I, uh, I just noticed Marge here, though, so I thought that I... Well, look, Mr. Taylor, you ever think of selling any of your range, huh? Have you? Meaning? There's a piece I'd admire to buy. Sitting up for yourself? Well, uh, maybe something like that. Yeah. What did you have in mind? Ooh, uh, that there graze beyond the woods. You know, that little valley on the way to Crazy Creek? I got to thinking about it the other day, and, uh... And I, uh... Well, would you like to sell it, Mr. Taylor, huh? Lon, you serious about that? Oh, sure. You got the cash? Can you pay for it? Well, that depends how much you're asking. It's worth a thousand. Worth every penny of it. Yeah, yeah, reckon it is. You got that much, Lon? Sure. Well, uh, 
Will you pay that much? Yeah, I'll pay it. Hey, but look here. You sound mighty anxious to sell. Uh, from a little talk I picked up in town, I, I got the notion you weren't. <laughs> that was because the wrong filler asked me. Oh. Getting his hands long, he could make me pay through the nose to get my herd to market. No other way to reach the railroad. <laughs> but you and me won't never have no trouble like that, young fella. Come on in. We'll make out the papers. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, what? Oh, oh, there. Yep. Gil! Hello there. Open the door. Open up. Who is the... Oh, the mask man. Gil, when your brother left here the other night, he went immediately to town and joined Hook Bascom. Uh, I might have known he'd look up that skunk. Lon's just fool enough to think any loose spender's a good fella. Hook hired him to buy some land for him. Huh? That land, if it gets into Hook's hands, will put Taylor at his mercy. And Lon's playing that skunk's game? Now you want to realize that Lon isn't aware of Hook's true character. If he ain't, it's because he's kept his eyes tight closed. Perhaps he has, but the fact remains, that's the situation. When did you learn about this? Taylor spent the night keeping watch at Hook's place. Hook made his proposition, and Lon accepted early this morning. And there's still time. For what? To stop that fool kid, of course. Wait till I saddle Wait. up with... But there ain't no time to lose. The deal's he... already being made. What? Lon's at the Taylor place right now. And I happen to know that Taylor sent one of his men to town to bring back his lawyer. The sale's being arranged this minute. You knew all this ahead of time and never tried to stop it? Yes. What in thunderation was you the You ma- said you'd trust me. Yeah, sure, but then not... don't lose faith now. I had a purpose of my own in letting Lon go ahead. You did? Do as you said. Saddle up. Yeah? Ride to the Taylor place. Get Taylor and his daughter. And insist that they accompany you. Where to? Hook's place. What? And if you hurry... Yeah? I think I can guarantee you'll get a pleasant surprise. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, what? Oh, there, oh. Has Lon come along yet, Tato? Me watch. Him not come. Good. Then I'm in time. And what we do? Lon will have to pass here to get back to town. Ah. Uh-huh. We'll stop him. And after I've had a little talk with the fellow, Hook's plans aren't going to be as successful as he hopes. Get up, boy. Get up. <laughs> well, I got that land. Hook will be right pleased with this. Uh, I wonder what Marge's paws got again him. Shucks, if they just knew each other better, he would... Hey, what the... That's right. Pull up. Hey, you're the hombre that... Who stopped your fight the other night? What are you doing waiting here? Tonto and I were waiting for you. What for? To see that Hook doesn't get double-crossed. What the... He doesn't like men who turn on him, young fellow. You a part of his? And what does it sound like? I'm now, not... One moment. I haven't much to say, but I want you to get it straight. Yeah? He just made a deal for Hook. So far, you've done all right. He's wanted that land for quite a while. It puts Taylor just where Hook wants him. Say, how did you know that, that I... you were acting as Hook's agent? How do you suppose? Told you. And Lon. You got to Turn lot. over that land to Hook immediately. Or get ready to take the consequences. He said you ought to threaten you me. You take it and like it. Why, do you... Easy there. Oh, that's his game. Taylor was right. Hook was out to get that land so they could cut him off from getting his steers to market. And what's it to you? I'll show you. What did you mean by that? Did you fellas think I was the kind of hombre that's scared? If you have any sense, you will. Oh, yeah? You take the deed to that land, and you'll turn it over to Hook just as fast as you can get to his place. Well, you think that's your local? You're asking for trouble? If there's trouble, I'll be handing it out. You listen. I'll get to Hook's place. I'm going there right now. Well, that's better. Time you realize when you were well off. Well, you think so? Well, when I get there, yes. I'll teach him when he gives orders to me. He's making a big mistake. Now, get out of my way. One side. Get up there, boy. Come on, get up. Get up there, boy. Get, get up there. It worked all right, huh? The surest <laughs> way to get Lon to do what he should is to tell him not to. Come, Tonto. Uh, get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Hurry, old boy. Hurry. <laughs> Oh, boy, whoa, whoa there, whoa there, whoa, whoa there. I'll fix that no good. Girl. Hook, you've got something to learn. Hey, what? I'm going to show you something. Huh? And here's a starter. Hey, what is that? A deed. What, the Taylor's land? Right. Why, you crazy idiot, hold it. 
Stop. Give me that. Dude. I'm going to give you something. Uh, what? This. Oh! Get up. Get up. Let go. Come on. I can't talk you down. You stand up again. Oh, right. no, no, wait. Please. No. Oh. Oh. You got Take me a fool out of me, will you? Don't Try to get me it. to work your crooked games, me. huh? Yeah. Well, I'll show you. Get up, you coyote. Oh. Get up or I'll drag you. Give you the feeding. No, no. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Make him stop hitting me. Take him out of here. Well, what the fuck you figure you're doing? Uh-huh. I'm going to beat the life out of this old brain. Now cut it out. But I tell you... All it was too doggone hasty with them fists of yours. There he is. Grab him. He's with Hook. That what? masked fellow's with him. He's always... He's Wait a one. minute. I never seen that hombre before. What? Who told you I had anything to do with Hook? What? Well, you said so yourself. You, you... thought I said so. I didn't. You jumped to conclusions without having any facts. But, uh, but uh... He sure twisted you around his little finger, Lon. Order you to do anything, kid, and you start sunfishing like a wild-eyed bronc. But anyhow, you wasn't crooked, Lon. You proved that. Huh. How in thunder did all you folks show up all of a sudden? Gil brought them here. Then th- We knew you'd do exactly as you did. I wanted them to see it for themselves. Oh, but I still don't savvy. When I met you out there on the trail to town, I you said... I proved what I'd maintained before. You've been acting like a spoiled child. What's that? Gil has made his mistakes, but... Which same, Lon, I'm plumb willing to admit. But you've been completely obstinate and hot-headed. When Gil asked you to do things for your own good, you refused. Merely because you didn't like taking orders. So when I ordered you to do what you shouldn't, you stayed in character and acted honestly. So so you tricked me into this? Yes. Uh, Are you sorry, Lon? Well... Doggone, I'd be an awful fool if I said I was, wouldn't I? And you think maybe you and me can get along together from now on, kid? Gil, if if you can forget and forgive all the idiot things I've done, we we sure can. Oh, I forgot already. And do you remember what I told you, Lon? Huh? What was that? If if you wish to call, I'll be home anytime. I don't get over away! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>